We are about to hop in a lift for one, the best hot dogs in the world, and two, possibly a good bug and lift. Ben's gonna talk about it. So essentially what we have is a server side request forgery on a PDF. But we don't know if it's gonna work. And it requires us to take a ride. Each time we wanna fuss it. So that's what we're gonna do now. If this succeeds, right there, guys. it'll be just epic. Oh, he's coming around the <laughs> <laughs> so, we're, we're chasing back and forth down this Avenue Street to found our, find our lift that apparently, yeah, he got caught in traffic. So we're going up and down and like a crash, here's it. It's just not as not glamorous as it was as expected, yeah. So if this succeeds, what would happen? We potentially have an RC. Potentially. He's here almost. We'll know in 15 minutes if it works. We're going this far for hot dogs and bugs. <laughs> RCE crew. It yeah. took us. It took us what? Five guys to figure this out. If this bug works there, then we know it works on hundreds of others. This will be bad. Have a good night, Cody. Is that yep. the right syntax? Is that good? Yeah, it should be open bracket percent equals and then whatever your Ruby expression is percent close bracket. Set expense info. Done. All right, now we wait. All right. Hopefully it works. That was it. It's here now. Don't make me sad. Don't make me sad. I'm trying to shell this box, dude. <laughs> it didn't fucking get out of the tag. God damn it. Unless it fucking fixed it. It didn't get out of the fucking tag. Make Next right. Make the sad face. <laughs> Next right. What happened? It didn't get out of the HTML for this time. So next right. Damn it. Well, that exploit failed. We're gonna try another one afterwards, but it doesn't mean that the bug isn't there. It just means that our exploit failed. We'll know if the bug is there after the next try. So we just figure out why the bug didn't work. So all my previous payloads I use, the encoding for the double quote hasn't been right. It's always been encoding the, the double quote wrong. So every single payload we have put in there, besides the last one, hasn't worked ever. The last one didn't work because it's not a template injection. So we're gonna figure it out and then see if it works. We have a payload, we're just wondering if it's a working payload. So we'll find out in uh, 15, 20 minutes? Did you get, did you get the hot dog spread? Okay, so we're ready for part two of this adventure, right? And if we're lucky, the exploit's gonna work this time. And if we're lucky, we're gonna go on more rides, is what he means. If it works, <laughs> we have to actually export it next. Yeah. That's okay, we'll go to a bar next. Yeah. And then we're gonna bar hub. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's how it's gonna be. And it, if we nail it, and, and I'm, I'm not really saying if, when we nail it, which, which is just in a few minutes, Adam it's gonna be pretty fing awesome. Oh, here it is. That was rough. Ben, yeah. how does SSRF work? <laughs> SSRF is when you're able to send a request uh, using the web server you are interacting with. So whatever request sent through, so for example in this case, we're able to render HTML on the server side. So when we make a request to get an image, for example in this case, it's using that server to reach out to our box to fetch the file. So if it works, we can try and redirect the traffic to internal boxes, try with like other HTML tags and see if we can access internal resources, uh, Amazon S3 keys, uh, if they're on Amazon, see if we can see files, internal files, internal network, whatever that is. It generates a PDF for you and the PDF you can get out of the HTML, but every time I want to fuzz it, I gotta get a f***ing lift. And I can try it, and then I gotta go to my email. Yeah, we've done two rides so far. All right, it re okay. That's not it. Just worked. It was a middle. We need to change the format a bit, but it just, Weezy, print. It just print. worked. Wait a second. We know what this is now. We can exploit it locally. So we have Wheezy Print, which is the library that uh, Lyft is actually using on the back end to render these PDFs. Uh -huh. We're installing it locally so we can try as many exploit payloads as we want. We just spent 50 bucks on rides. <laughs> on two rides because there was six of us. <laughs> and hopefully these those two are the last ones. <laughs> it's Wheezy Print. It's a Python app. We can do this. 